With both shafts in place, now it's time to build a geared connection. There are several different types of gearing connections built into the design accelerators of Autodesk Inventor. Bevel gears, worm gears, and spur gears. For this design, a spur gear is the most appropriate, though many of the options that present themselves in the spur gear generator will be present for worm gear as well as bevel gear. I'll start the spur gear generator and I can use multiple different types of calculation. So I can calculate the module and number of teeth, the number of teeth, the center distance, the total unit calculation, or the module. For this design, the shafts are kept in position based on the center points of an existing casting. So I'll use module and number of teeth. I'll set the gear ratio that I desire to 1.8, and the center distance is four inches. So I'll proceed on to selecting how the gears will be calculated. The first gear is the shaft that has the large cylinder on it. So rather than placing the gear as a component on that shaft, I'll modify the existing geometry of the shaft by making this a feature. I'll select the cylindrical face that's used, and I'll establish what the start plane will be. It gives me a preview of the gear. The second will be a component. So it will be generating a new body that will act to generate the gear. I'll set the start plane to align with the existing model. And here I can see I have to flip it. The gear preview looks good. So I can go to the calculation tab, put in the amount of power, the type of lubrication, the required life expectancy, or in this case, I'll just click OK to generate the gears. It creates the component, and then it creates the feature on the other shaft. If I need to modify this, I can right click and edit using the design accelerator and make modifications. For example, adding a helical gear angle. I'll update the geometry and it will update the model. Now I have my gearing already in place. It will set up the shaft which can be manufactured and it will set up the gear which can be made to fit the shaft that we created in the last exercise.